Hi, my name's Steve. My whole life, I've been a jokester. I just happen to be a guy who likes to crack jokes. Some call me the class clown, but I don't mind. However, I tend to take the comedy thing too far at times. That said, I show up for class every single day and do my best to stand up for my title. I consider myself that popular guy you find in every school. I never had, and I never will, come under anyone else's influence. When I say this, I literally mean it. Because last year, one of my teachers tried to dominate me, and in return, I got him suspended. People try to blame me for getting Mr. Adams suspended. But you got to hear my side of the story. So basically, our English teacher had to go on maternity leave, and she was replaced by a male teacher called Mr. Adam, whom I mostly refer to as Newbie. Since Newbie was really new, I decided to have some fun with him, like I always do with new people at school. Therefore, I started to test his patience by making weird noises while we were in the middle of a boring lecture. Also, I used to ask him a lot of unnecessary questions like, Can I stand up from my chair? Or, Can I open my book? These questions were really getting under his skin, and my whole class used to laugh at them. Besides, Newbie was completely clueless about how to deal with them. Mr. Adam was really fat, and one day I pointed out that his shirt button was open due to his large belly. Everyone in class started laughing, but this time, Mr. Adam looked really embarrassed about the joke. He didn't know how to respond, and he started stuttering as he was trying to keep the lesson going. I think he took it to heart and got really offended. From that day onward, I noticed a huge change in him. He started being really mean towards me. He insulted me in front of the whole class whenever he had a chance. He did stuff like reading out the essay I submitted in front of everyone, pointing out the mistakes I made in it, even the petty ones, just to humiliate me. Even one time, when we started learning about colons, he told me to stand up from my chair and define what colons are. Due to his repeated attempts at insulting me with dirty tactics like this, I had studied everything and always gave him the correct answer. But to everyone's surprise, he declared it incorrect and started teaching inaccurate definitions just to prove me wrong. I took this as a personal attack on me. I was really worked up, and word was getting out in school that this new teacher was really giving Steve a hard time. So I had to do something about it. The thing is that if someone tries to mess with me, I will bring on a full-fledged war. So, I devised a plan with my best friend Jeremy, and instructed him to record a video from his mobile phone while I would try to provoke Mr. Adam to do what he always did, bully me. So, as soon as Mr. Adam began his lecture, I started correcting him on irrelevant things, and hence, he started throwing insults at me, and that was exactly what we wanted. We were successful at recording a video of him insulting me in a way that is not acceptable at all. I actually managed to make him so mad that he said and acted more extreme than he ever had. With my documented success, I went home, uploaded the video to my YouTube channel, and shared it on all my social media accounts. In no time, the video went viral, and I got 10,000 hits in a week. Not only that, but my goal of bringing shame to the teacher was becoming successful, as everyone started questioning his behavior, which created huge pressure on the school's management to take action. And the management had no other options than to suspend the teacher. Yes, Mr. Adam got suspended, and all I felt like is that he got what he deserved. And to be honest, I also got suspended. Only for a week though. But it was worth it, as I already knew that with every risk comes a price. I don't regret any of my actions, because in only one week's time I went back to my school without newbie being there. And after this incident, nobody in school could ever say that somebody is giving Steve a hard time. Steve 1, newbie 0. What do you think about this story? Please share your comments and stories in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.